It has been 68 years since the moon has been as close to the Earth as it is today. Alex Dimitrik reports that nearness makes this super moon really shine. The saying is a blue moon is rare, but not as rare as today's super moon. It's the brightest and closest full moon we've had since until uh, January of uh, 1948, uh, and it won't be this close again until uh, November of 2034. The moon's elliptical orbit puts it furthest away at apogee and closest to Earth at perigee. This is the first time in 68 years that it is 50 miles closer to Earth. That might not sound like much, but it's enough to make it 30 percent brighter and 14 percent bigger than a regular full moon. The close approach started last night and peaked about 6.30 this morning, our time. If you didn't see it last night, definitely get it go out tonight and it'll still be beautiful and it'll still be big. While closer means bigger and brighter, there's also an optical illusion when the moon is just above the horizon. It does appear to be larger and so that is an optical illusion. Because of the way our brains are wired, objects in the foreground make the moon seem bigger than it is. But there's a way to see its true size. Your neighbors might think you're crazy. Turn your back to the moon and then look at it through your legs. And that just reorients your brain in such a way that you convince yourself that it's not as big as you think it is. Or you could just enjoy the illusion. Alex Dimitri, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, if we don't get a break in the clouds tonight, we only have to wait 18 years, just 18 years for a repeat performance. That's not too long. <laughs> it's like forever. <laughs> forever.